Good morning. Um, I thought I got to record this. I just saw what looks like it could be one of the dumbest headlines I've ever seen. It's probably time to rethink building in public, but um, I give credit to whoever this is. Lakey9M, you're willing to put your ideas out there in public. That's the way it should be. Uh, and now we can discuss your ideas. So I applaud the bravery. Now, I could be pleasantly surprised and he might be saying um, people have been underestimating the importance of building in public. Um, but um, I, the way it's phrased, my, my assumption is he's going to say building in public is bad or dumb. So that's, that's the dumbest take I've ever heard and I'll explain why after. But first, let's, let's make sure that I'm not wrong about his, his argument. Let's take a look his conclusion. Okay, so September 9th, 2024. Okay, two weeks old. Are people overdoing it? My second question, does it actually work? Final words. No one builds in public. He's a software engineer at Google. He's a free software developer. I love that. Founder of, of this podcast. Okay, first of all, I gotta say, I'm impressed with this guy. Um, Digital Ocean, fantastic cloud my favorite cloud provider look at this there's no copyright notice on there it doesn't say all rights reserved now when I see that that's a hint that this person could be a genius so if I see a copyright then I know I'm not dealing with a genius um, so that's a good sign source code at github fuck yeah this guy all right I'm a little worried because this is I don't know what this guy's gonna say but he's got a source code on github let's give that a star I love people who do that, hosted on Digital Ocean, genius. Lots of signs that this guy's a genius. So let's see what he's got to say. Since joining the Indie hack, Hacker community a few months ago, I've been observing that everyone is doing, what everyone is doing with great curiosity. One thing I immediately noticed that everyone talks about build in public, in case you're unfamiliar with the term. So for me, build in public is not just build in public, but, um, that's fantastic what he said. I totally agree with this. Creating content, sharing, and company stories that unfolds transparency, openness, and vulnerability. Believe in that. For, for me, it's also public domain. Um, so no copyright, no patents. Those are in. for dinosaurs. It's just not the way ideas, nature wants ideas to be. And um, they're morally wrong and financially stupid because <laughs> they slow the rate of evolution of your products and services and you're gonna go extinct if you still follow those practices. Sure, it works, it works in the old days, but uh, the speed of evolution and improvement and innovation has increased, and you can't do those things that slow you down like that anymore. Plus, they're just morally evil. So who wants to do something that slows you down and is morally evil? Anyway, so for me, build in public is not just build in public, but also build public domain. So I love this definition though, I agree with that. So a common practice of building public is to share the revenue of your products. Ah, now here's an interesting thing. Because you share your ideas, you share your story, no one cares, no one copies, no one clones. But as soon as you're making money, and then people pay attention. So, so this is interesting. Let's post get it. I, I picked a random tweet just to showcase what it looks like. Woohoo, I crossed the 1K milestone revenue for my new tool. I'm so excited. But it's also a little overwhelming dealing with all the social media, post launch pictures, customer support. Does it get less stressful over time? No. Sorry, it just changes. Always is stressful. Whether you've got 100 customers or 100 million, it's always stressful. But, but I mean, there's a way to get it so that it's a fun kind of stress. It's a fun kind of pressure. But yeah, and, but it just changes. So, and why is that? There's probably some math I could explain it, but we're gonna ignore that. At first I thought, okay, if everyone is doing it, it must be good. A few months later, I'm starting to have some questions. My first question, are people overdoing it? When I said, similar posts, okay. So keep in mind that everyone is seeing their own biased version of Twitter and X, their own feed. Mine, I mute aggressively on any political words. So mine is just math and science. And um, I love it and programming. 
Um, so, so his, it sounds like it's filled with these kind of posts. That's not my experience. Um, but that's why, so, so, on, so this might be a, so are you, the, the title of this post potentially is, am I following too many people building in public? I don't know. And I am, you know, um, cause I don't see many of these posts. I see very few of these posts about revenue shares. Um, some of the posts are merely just bragging. Well, there's also, say you're trying to raise money or, or attract employees or whatever. Like, like again, no one pays attention to great ideas until they're making money. And so um, without, without throwing in those key numbers, th this is at least my experience. And by no one, by the way, I mean 99% of people. The 1% of um, builders love good ideas, love those kind of posts, but the vast majority of people and you need everyone to help you build something they don't pay attention until money is flowing it's like you could tell people hey guys there's oil right underneath me there's a million barrels of oil right under here and i've got the technology i know how to do it no one's gonna fucking pay attention to you until they see the oil come out of the ground then they're gonna come and try to fucking steal every drop of oil but they don't believe you they don't just and I, whatever, maybe they should believe you that when you say there's oil on the ground, just like you tell them all your great ideas, but until they see it, they don't care. And I, I think that's probably evolved for good reason because say you're starving in a desert and you got all these people saying, oh, there's water over here, water over here. And one guy is just like, you see one guy and he's not thirsty at all. Like you're going to go to the person who's already got the water. Like that's, that's what revenue is. That's what money is. It's just like, think of it. Think of profit streams as literal streams of water. We all need water to survive. You die if you don't get water fast enough. So people don't want to talk about hypothetical water, future water. They need water now to live. Anyway, sorry. Second question. Does it actually work? 10 years ago when levels IO was still a nobody. So don't, I don't really know who levels IO is. I think he just did a podcast. Build in public was a brand new thing. You see, well, not really. I mean, in the open source world, people have been building in public, sharing that what they've been building for for fifty years. Uh, so, um, and and you know, at the end of the day, I don't really care too much about who's making the most money, who's getting the most water. I care about who's who's provided the most water to as many people as possible, and that's generally the people who are building in public fifty years ago on like the Richard Stallmans of the world, the Linus Torvalds, who are, who are posting their shit on Usenet groups and forums. Um, those are the OGs of building in public. I don't know who these guys are, but building in public, like, so, so you may, so maybe he's the, the, this post needs to qualify or that it's building in, building revenue in public. Okay, anyway. Back in the day, indie hacking was also new with few people doing it. Nowadays, things are completely different. The building public community on Twitter has 33,000 members. These are small subreddits compared to others. Um, I mean, these are still tiny. Everyone's not building in public. That's why I say these are still very small niches in terms of the rest of the world. Very, very small. 100,000 people, that's not even, that's like a joke. To, that's like what some subreddits add in a month. Like, it's tiny. Um, think about how big the universe is. If we're going to have people colonizing these different solar systems and galaxies and planets, we need... <laughs> There's far more than 100,000. We need a far more than 100,000 founders. Um, still new and exploring. I wrote about my questions. I don't believe how to answer them. Hell yeah, I love that style of post. Okay, I love this post. This is a, he's, he's just a question. Oh wait, no one builds in public. Wait, that's the title? That's true rounds to zero that wait what no one builds in public that's the title or was the title it's probably time to rethink building public i'm a little confused what the title is 
But anyway, 10 minutes, too long. Real, real, really enjoyed this, this person. And I am going to start following this person. How could I follow this person? My GitHub. I think I followed him there. Nope. How do I find your Twitter? Let me follow you. Loved it. Awesome. Awesome. You know, I've got some points to disagree, but I think that was a good conversation. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, and have a great day. Keep Please keep building in public. It's, it's the right way to do things. Again, with the caveat that who knows about the, the revenue. I haven't thought that far ahead. But um, but I think Minecraft used to post his revenue. And the guy made like a billion dollars. So like, I don't think there's any harm in posting your revenue numbers either. All right. Happy Sunday. Have a great one. Cheers.